Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at an app that you can use on your phones to navigate your Brightspace courses, and more specifically, how you can use your phones to hand in your assignments to your Brightspace courses. The first thing you need to do is download the Brightspace Pulse app. You can do this by going to the Google Play Store on Android phones and the Apple App Store on iPhones. I'm using an Android phone, so I'm going to use the Google Play Store. I'm going to search for Brightspace Pulse, and when it pops up, I'll select it. You'll see that I've already installed this app. If you haven't already installed the Pulse app, go ahead and install it. And once the app has been installed, go ahead and open it to get started. The Brightspace Pulse app is pretty cool. It allows students to do everything on their phones that they would normally do on a laptop when navigating their Brightspace courses. Let's get started. If this is the first time that you're using the Brightspace Pulse app, you're going to need to search for the institution that's providing your course. In this case, my students should be searching for the Grand Erie District School Board. Once you've found your learning institution, students are going to need to sign into their account. If you're a Grand Erie District School Board student, you should be using your school email address, which is your username at grandeerie.ca and the same password that you use at school. Once you've entered your credentials, go ahead and click the sign in button. All the active courses that you have in Brightspace will be listed on the courses page. For this example, we're going to use my MEL3E Workplace Mathematics course. If you want to select a different course, all you need to do is click on the arrow beside courses up in the top left hand corner. Scroll through the courses that are available and select the course that you're looking for. You may have noticed that when you select a course, you're automatically taken to the content section of that course. If you want to get to the course's home page, all you need to do is click on the ellipsis in the top right hand corner and then select Launch Course Home Page. Once on the course's home page, you'll have access to all the information that you normally would if you were accessing the course using a laptop or a tablet or a computer. To access the course navigation, click on the three bars on the left hand side. I've customized the navigation for my courses so that all the links that students will need are all under one drop down menu, the student links drop down. I've also changed the link to the content section from content to coursework. In the latest version of Brightspace, they've changed the name for the Dropbox section to assignments. I've changed that back just for consistency for my students. From this view, students can click on the coursework link under student links to access the content section, or they can click on the X at the top of the page to exit the course homepage view. All right, let's take a look at how easy it is to hand in your work using the Brightspace Pulse app. The first thing we need to do is find an activity where work has to be handed into a Dropbox. If your work needs to be handed into a Dropbox, at the bottom of the activity page, you'll find a link to the Dropbox or the assignment folder that you need to submit your work to. To hand in your work to the Dropbox or the assignment folder, simply click on the Add File button. To use your phone to take pictures of your work and then submit that work into a Dropbox, click on the My Computer link and then click on the Upload button. You'll then be presented with a number of different ways that you can add a file to the Dropbox. You can use your phone's camera to take a picture of your work. You can use a camcorder, voice recorder, or you can click on the files icon and search your photo gallery for images of your work that you've already taken with your phone. Let's first take a look at how you can use your phone's camera to take a picture of your work to hand it into a Dropbox. Click on the camera icon, make sure your work is in focus, and take a picture. You'll be given an option to either retry the picture or accept it by clicking OK. You can take as many pictures as you like, allowing you to hand in all of your work at the same time. Simply click the Upload button to take more pictures of your work. Once you've captured all the images of your work, Click the Add button at the bottom of the page. If the picture you've taken is blurry or not in focus, click Retry and take the picture again. You can also upload pictures that you've already taken. All you need to do is click the Upload button and then select File down on the bottom right hand corner. Navigate to where the picture is stored, select the image you want to upload and it will automatically be added to the list to be uploaded to the Dropbox. Once you have all the files and images that you need, click the Add button at the bottom of the screen to upload your files to the Dropbox. On the screen you'll see a summary of all the files that are ready to be submitted. You'll also see a list of the files with links to those files. If you want to make sure that you're handing in the right work, you can click on each one of those links to see the images or the files that are about to be uploaded. If you've forgotten something, all you need to do is click on the Add a File button and you can add more files to the list. You can also add an audio recording or a video recording with your phone. When you're ready to hand in your work to the Dropbox, scroll down, you can add a comment if you like, and then click the Submit button. If everything works the way it should, you'll get a confirmation page showing the files that you've handed in and any comments you added. All students need to do now is click the Done button and they can start working on their next activity. So far we've talked about how easy it is for students to use their phones and the Brightspace Pulse app to take pictures of their work and hand it into Dropboxes, or to take pictures of their work, save them to their phone, and then hand those files into Dropboxes. 
What if students are using their Office 365 account to complete their work and saving their work in their OneDrive account? The Brightspace Pulse app makes it easy for students to hand in work that's stored in their OneDrive accounts. To hand in work that's stored in their OneDrive account, students need to navigate to the Dropbox or the Assignment folder, scroll down and find the Add File button, and click it, just like they did when they used their phone to take pictures of their work. One of the options in that list will be OneDrive Files. Students will need to sign into their OneDrive account before they can access their files. They can navigate to the different folders in their OneDrive account by scrolling over to the right-hand side and clicking on the arrow. Once they find the directory where their work is stored, they can double-click on the directory, find the file, select it, and it will automatically be added to the Dropbox or Assignment folder. Students can add a comment if they wish, then scroll down and click Submit. They'll get a confirmation page, and all they need to do now is click the Done button. After students have submitted a file, they're taken to the Dropbox or the Assignment folder section of the course. If they scroll to the right-hand side, they can see the number of files that have been handed in for each one of the Dropboxes. And that's how easy it is to use the Brightspace Pulse app.